one of my least favorite chores, laundry. It's no fun, and it's usually not easy, especially when you make as many messes as uh, <clears throat> I do. So today, in this part of our My Home series, we're facing and fixing more of your and my laundry dilemmas. You know, for weeks, we've been showing you one culprit at a time. But the fact is, you and your family face all kinds of nasty stains, especially now that the kids are back in school. And we just met a mom who's got a whole hamper full of major headaches. Check it out. Hi, I'm Katie, and I'm from Durham, North Carolina. I'm married, and I have two children, and boy, are they a mess. My son, Andy, always comes home with green grass stains on his jeans. I'm not even going to go in to trying to get his football uniform clean. My daughter, Mandy, she's six years old. She loves to eat. Her favorite foods, hot dogs and chocolate ice cream. As you can see, I think she gets more food on her clothes than she does in her mouth. And they both love to rough house. I try and prevent it, but we have cuts and scrapes, and I've got blood on their clothes too, which is very hard to get out. I need some help. Can you give me some tips on how I get all this clean? Oh, Katie, I feel your pain. I have a feeling we're going to be able to help you today. Maybe you've seen our stain-fighting expert in the field with me at the laundromat before, but now it's getting serious. These laundry dilemmas are piling up. So we've brought in, once again, Katherine Hartman, our guru of laundry greatness. What a great title. She's here in our studio this morning. Good morning. Good morning. It seems like you have all the answers to our problems. <laughs> you haven't failed me. I won't. Fail Not today you. either. Okay, these are pretty big. Katie's really suffering, so let's Let's tackle on the first one. All right, sounds good. Well, okay. I like to use a product I can trust, so I use Biz. It's great for colors and whites. Okay, perfect. And for our grass stain, we're going to pre-treat with a powder. Okay, so you use the powder. Mm -hmm. Pour some water in with your powder. Mix it up. Okay, pretty easy. I could do yeah, that. Yeah, just a thick paste. And then apply directly onto the stain. All right. Yeah. So... Basically on the stain, not around, just no, right, right directly on, on that stain. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And let we leave it there sit. for how long? Um, about 10 minutes, let it dry, and then throw it in the wash. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Yeah. Now this, this is very common in my house. I bet it is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> With two girls. Yeah, two girls that will not eat anything without the famous ketchup. <laughs> yes, the ketchup. And then the ketchup always lands on... The, the shirt. shirt. <laughs> so how do we get that out? Uh, for dried on food stains, I'm going to say you re-wet it first before throwing it in. So tap some water on it? Yeah, just tap some water on it. And then uh, they came out with this new blast pack. It's powder and liquid, oh. and it's supercharged with enzymes. What do the enzymes the do? The enzymes will break down that food stain. And then there's surfactants that will lift and pull the stain away. I love that. So I just yeah. throw it in the wash and walk away. Walk away. This is a keeper for yeah. me. Okay, this is a big one, the blood stain. I mean, the first thing I, I honestly, what I would do is, and this happens to my husband, husband when he's shaving, mm -hmm. to be honest. Ble bleach. Oh, no, 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 no. No? Bleach can be so harsh on your fabrics. Yeah. All right. So you know, what do I use? Yeah. Biz. Liquid. Pre-treat. You can pour that in the cap there. So just a little bit? Just a little bit, yep. And then we'll just apply directly onto the stain. Just like we did over there with right. the... Right. Uh-huh. We'll rub in. Take that. We'll rub it into the stain. Okay. And then you let that sit. Oh, that's okay. And then get it, it out. <laughs> and just throw it in the wash. Throw it in the wash and it'll come out. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want you to know that I'm, <laughs> I'm testing you now. We gave Katie all these solutions. Ooh. We're going to find out what happened. You all ready? Right. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take a look. Done. Let's see how they came out. These jeans had grass stains on the knees. They're gone. Vanished. That is fabulous. Now for my daughter's pink shirt. This pink shirt had chocolate ice cream, mustard, and ketchup. They're gone. The stains are on gone. The shirt looks brand new. Now for my son's blue shirt. This shirt had blood stains on it. <laughs> Again, looks brand new. Thanks so much for the help. I wish I could say I'm surprised, but I'm not, because I've <laughs> known you now for months, and you've never failed me. And once again, voila, 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, good. I'm always glad to help. Thank you, you know. very much. And let me tell you, the next time I have a major stain, I'm going to call you. Definitely call me. You're my guru. <laughs> and to find out more helpful tips to fight those tough stains and get a money-saving coupon to use for your family, which everybody wants to save a couple cents every day, visit bizstainfighter.com. You will not be disappointed.